morning we're actually having to head off to um, the clinic for Sarah. She has a little bit of a growth on her leg. She's not sure what it is. So we need to get a motorcycle, rent one, and ride into the clinic and check out the healthcare options in Indonesia. We'll see how that uh, turns out, but it should be good. Today we stop to see our friend Melina to get some help to find a scooter. Okay. Oh, this is Gears. Gears? Yeah, Gears are fine. It doesn't matter. No Gears? She graciously offers us to use one of hers for a trip to the clinic. Okay. Let me go get some, some money from the bank real quick. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Terima kasih. Thank you so much. <laughs> Unsure how much the clinic would cost us, Mark goes to an ATM to get some cash, just in case it's a hefty bill. Once our pockets are full of cash, we head off towards the clinic on our borrowed bike. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't ever play it in the night. So our friend uh, Melina let, her, uh, bar let us borrow her uh, motorbike. And needless to say, it sounds like an Indonesian version of a Harley Davidson. <laughs> It runs and it's a little loud, but it should be, it'll at least get us to the clinic. It's really nice of her, really sweet. On our way to the clinic, we encounter a motorcycle accident. There are pieces of a bike and helmet lying in the road. Only a couple of weeks ago, a man was killed on his bike as he rode to his house. Motorbike accidents happen here regularly, and this is another reminder to always be extra careful. The rest of the ride to the clinic is uneventful. The small town where the clinic is located is nice, with scenic views of the water and a very prominent mosque. This is the same town that has the school, where the local businesses are educating students on proper disposal of rubbish. Quite a difference when you see the clinic itself. To the clinic because as in tropical weather, skin issues happen, and I've gotten some kind of a some kind of a, a boil of some sort. So, um, yeah, so we get to go to the clinic today, and we're thankful that it's here. It's a nice clinic. We've been here before, actually, um, and see what they say about it. So, we'll see. Pretty quiet. No one here. Mm. So we just talked to the nurse, we found them in a back room, so when I went looking around they, they spotted me and we are going to see the doctor, so we'll see. They seem to speak English a little bit, so that's good. It is eerily quiet as we wait for the doctor. There is literally no one else around and no sign of the motorcycle accident victim anywhere. Sarah just got called in to see the doctor. It's about um, 1230 at 1245 is prayer time. So it may be a female doctor. Most of the males uh, do their prayers at 1245. So uh, I'm not sure who she's seen, but we will soon find out. As Mark sits waiting for me, a couple of curious kids pop up and giggle at him sitting on the chair. They're shy, but also wanting to come in for a closer look as they scurry around the room. Hello. She said it was just an abscess. But she gave me antibiotics and for five days, and we'll take it and see What's if it helps it go down. It was a whopping 20,000, which is how much? $1.15 maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yep. And I got my medicine. Prima Cassie. With my prescription. Yay. Hopefully it will be all cleared up soon and I can go diving again. We'll see. But good to have it taken care of and somebody looked at it. What is it that they gave you? What is it called? Cephadroxyl. Cephadroxyl. Two milligrams, five days. And this is my... Okay. Yeah. Here we go. The joys of living in the tropics.
Why? It's prayer time. It's 1250. Everyone's out doing their prayer. So they shut down the shops. So no food for us. How long does prayer time last? Uh, I don't know. Probably depends on what day. Should Maybe. we wait? We can wait a little bit, but we'll see. Okay. Right. We'll By see this again. time, we're both very hungry after our clinic visit, and we don't want to wait for the local stores to open. So we head back to Iboi Village to stop at one of our favorite lunch you stalls. Have I'm having mie bak so I am. Yeah. It's okay? You have soto? Soto, yeah? No, soto, soto. Okay. Okay, perfect. And uh, for me, my usual, which is Same. ache. No, you want the... Mie ache. Yeah, tea dak tulur. Padas. She knows. She knows. <laughs> Prima Kasi, thank you. Mm. It's good. Yum. Mi goreng ache. Ache mi goreng. I have um, mie bakso. I am. So it's like a soup with a nice broth. And these are bakso meatballs that are very like starchy. There's a lot of starch. And then there's chicken and some greens and noodles. So it's kind of like Achenese noodle soup. So to put things in perspective, that lunch was a whopping dollar uh, eighty or so a person. We had two iced teas and our main meal. Our main meal, and it was good food and inexpensive. Yep. Can't beat it. So now back to the boat, ready for diving this afternoon. After some much-needed rest, we corral the kids and head ashore for dinner at the Ulala Cafe. It's a nice little restaurant on top of a hill, overlooking the bay. It's here that we will get a local cooking lesson as part of our last dinner experience in Iboi. When we arrive, we are greeted with friendly faces. Right away, we are invited into the kitchen to begin our lesson on how to make some local dishes. We've been here a number of times over the past four months and made some close friends with the owners and staff of this cafe. It was here that I had my first dinner with my close friend Lee when she came all the way from Texas to visit us aboard field trip for a couple weeks. So many good memories to recall as I pull up my sleeves and get busy cooking. And that's the roasty going on the frying pan, right? That's what Michael's having for dinner. How for you? I'm so having I am Paniet. Oh, I am Local. The two main dishes on our menu tonight are chicken ulala and I am Paniet. Chicken ulala is a very delicious chicken dish with a sweet and spicy sauce. It's been my favorite menu item so far. An ayam penyet is breaded and fried chicken that's literally bashed with the side of a knife to flatten it to loosen the meat from the bone before it's served. Very good. And thank you for telling me how to make it. And I have been it for myself. Ah, that's really good. So tasty. No, for my son. Oh, for your son? Okay, 218. 218. 220. Sama-sama. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Our stomachs are full. 
Michael slurps down a final fresh lime juice before we head off. We are leaving many dear friends in Iboe, Indonesia, and will miss everyone greatly. Tomorrow, we're off to Malaysia for a two to three day sail. Unfortunately, a little oversight by the captain in our passage preparations makes for quite a nail-biting trip. <laughs>